found. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. Dowd, isn't it? You wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address but I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance. The barrister dying would be nothing to me. I want him to see his own ruin. I want him to taste it. You think I'm being needlessly cruel? You don't know what he does all day then. Fancy barrister Arnold Timsh signs a document, then the watch is at your door, dragging your wife into a plague wagon. I fought. Didn't even know I could fight. I broke a man's nose. I wish they killed me. You don't know what's happening in this city until you've seen the flooded district. I crawled over bodies. I don't even know if they were alive. He's moving around nearby. He won't say who he is or what he's doing, but I locked him up just to be safe. He seems familiar to me. Reminds me of someone who used to do business but I'm not sure. Good work, Simmons. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Timsh, right? What's the next address? Crow's Court off Brandy Street. But there's a problem, sir. The Forest Dolls live there, and their kids used to sneak us food at the back door. I know it's the job, sir, but it's awfully hard seeing them turned out like this. They don't even have the plague. I've been there last week. Excellent. Simmons, you'll show me this back stoop and we'll go in that way. Start tallying the place up. You've given us the tactical advantage. We'll get Timsh's money. But, sir, I'll put it another way. You think I care which door we kick in tomorrow? The next day? Behind each is another useless pack of aristocratic sots and their precious offspring. And I don't care if they all end up mudlarks. Sir, they've been good to me. Simmons, before I worked for Barrister Timsh, I was dredging out the real weeper dens. You ever done that? Ever broken down a door and bathed in that stench? Fought housewives with blood on their faces, swinging at you with a piece of broken furniture. Other times it's just rats inside, hundreds of them, stripping some drunk to the bone. Maybe you'd like to be transferred to my old squad. No, sir. Certainly not. I used to call myself Brave Simmons. Till I saw a man lose a fight with a pile of rats. So when Barrister Timsh says all I gotta do is rough up a rich bastard, cuff him a few times till he stops talking about his rights, I jump at the chance. I cry with happiness. You understand me? Yes, sir. We'll approach from the back stoop. They won't be alarmed when they see me. Right. Good man. It's them or us. No room for heroes in the time of plague. Just do your job and I'll make sure you keep this posting.
That's unusual. What's the occasion? The General's on his way. Things got nasty in the upper city. We handled it. One less mess for the watch to clean up. Justifying himself to the rats in his office right now. Just stupid. There he is. See him? I imagine you could hit him from here. I'll stick around if you don't mind. I'd like to watch.
everyone from the waterfront? I heard it's like a ghost town over there. Yeah, all of them. Once we see signs of the plague, we come down hard. You don't go through there on your way home, do you? No, I swear it. Yeah, you sure? I swear it. You better stay nice to me. Of course. I have to go now. Can't find the barrister. Maybe you should stop running to him with every little crisis. He's in his office upstairs, convening with his guard.
undress. I undress. I told her to keep the children inside. I told her. What does she know? Young people. Of course they think they can judge us. She's sensitive, sir. Isn't that what they call it? Sensitive people are wrecking this city. Sensitive people don't collect taxes, and they don't burn out the slums or create the buffer zones we need. Quite right, sir. Her tinny little voice calling me a monster. As if this is... Yeah, first play. Nice. As if I didn't watch my own grandmother cough her life out. Oh. Yes, sir. And when it's over, she can go to her parties at the Boils, or summers at the Sakonin coastal towns, with the money I've salvaged for her out of this. But first, she'll stay where I've put her. Yes, sir. You're a good uncle, sir, if I can say that. When will the Regent's man be getting here? What was his name? General Turnbull, sir. He was expected some 30 minutes ago but sent an envoy to communicate his delay. He'll be here within the hour. Very well. It makes me uneasy. The Regent did notify me about this. I wonder if it's... No. No, I need not worry. I carry the Lord Regent's signature in my pocket, granting me full immunity to all plague provisions. I doubt even this General has such far-reaching protection. I know of none else who do, sir. Benedict, I need to know what you expect regarding the Danforth Holding Company. They're only a month late, and they've been good for it in the past. Normally, I wouldn't hesitate to invent a plague infection complaint against them, and have all their assets seized. But they have a link to the boils. And they, as you know, do not touch list. It's getting a little too close to home. I'm afraid you may have to settle your dispute with them by some other means.
Mother, this is Arnold. If you happen to awake him while no one is present, I've prepared this for you to remind you of recent events to help clear your mind and put you at ease. The plague has ended. I have married and will become Prime Minister, just as you always wanted. My sister and brother are both here and doing well. Your last will and testament has been written and approved. We all love you, Mother. Now go back to sleep. Rest. Everything is fine. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessamy when we were girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. I hope that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. Who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Well, she's a bit of a bitch, and the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. so delayed, I expected to find Timsh outside waiting for me. 
Where is he? That's the problem, sir. We don't know. We've been searching for him, but nothing. That gives me a very bad feeling. Keep me informed, of course. Yes, sir, General Turnbull. Sir, do you believe in witches? Shut up. wondered, what does he smell like? Rotting flesh? Wild flowers? Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. It's always satisfying, killing a rich bastard like Timsh. Here's one last lesson, for old time's sake. The Barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points, but he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood and filth. The Empress is dead and the water's rising. Don't end up like Arnold Timsh. He died before he could say his last words. For what it's worth, they were, I'm sorry. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening.
saw Talia. She's waiting where she said she'd be. individual is currently at large in the legal district and or waterfront areas. If seen, inform an officer of the watch immediately. Your uncle is dead. This is his will as agreed. Uncle's dead. I've killed now, haven't I? My, how odd that feels. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night, we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly, Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll be leaving soon. Goodbye, Dowd. So much for the good barrister. He had it coming, though. Men like him can never trust anyone. His own niece turned on him. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. <laughs>